So can you recommend a couple of exercises or two or three exercises that are going to be the target key areas for runners? So anyone watching this, they can think of, this is something I can take away from this and do on a daily basis. I, I would say that the core thing here is that, first of all, you want to do things most specific to what you're aiming to do. So if you're a runner, yep. you want to run. You know, So if you want to get better at hills, the number one thing that'll help with that is being on hills. Uh, if you live somewhere flat, that's more challenging. And so there's maybe a little bit more role for the strength side of things to help with that. But yep. for, from the leg perspective, things like lunges and squats are certainly very useful. Um, it's going to be using multiple joints. It's also helping because if you're carrying it either on uh, the weight on your shoulders or just in a couple of um, dumbbells in your hands, you're also doing a bit more stability. You're helping with a bit of shoulder and arm strength. And anything that's a bit more full body is going to be useful, but that's obviously mainly targeted still at the legs. Yeah. I also would say that a really good exercise just in general, not just for runners, but, but there's helping to get a whole load of different areas working together is pull-ups and chin-ups. Um, it's something very simple to do. You could do it potentially on a door frame or at a mm -hmm. child's playground or something and, and, and do it. But um, I have a, a pull-up bar that I, I put in the garage uh, during the coronavirus last year so that I could um, just easily fit that in because it's helping with core strength, arm strength, shoulder strength, everything basically through the top half of the body. Um, and in a way that is incorporating it also that there's a lot of stability in particular. Um, mm -hmm. And it's a difficult exercise to do. So it's, it's something you can do that's quick and easy, but I'd, I'd certainly say pull-ups and chin-ups are another uh, good addition that are going to help them with that core stability when you're running. I guess I would say, um, so if you're going to do them every day, one, okay, you don't want to do something too demanding. Like you shouldn't be doing heavy weights every day, right? Because that just doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, two, of these are going to be more sort of like prehab, like preventative stuff, right? Rather than fixing one thing. Um, so and you probably mostly want to focus on uh, glutes, hamstrings, and quads, I would say, right? Like, unless you have a specific, you know, if you're somebody with weak calves, maybe you should be doing calf exercises yeah, every day, yeah. right? Okay. And then again, I'm gonna, you shouldn't have asked me this, there's no straight answer, right? Okay, <laughs> you know, if you're training for a mountain race, or a road marathon, maybe you have a slightly different focus, right? Okay, but a couple, couple of basics. Um, if you get one of a piece of uh, the, like one of those small rubber bands that you can put around like just above your knees, yep. right? You can buy the, the rubber stuff like from a physio and you just tie it off in a knot and you get it. So it's about, it's going to be about the size of if you're standing with your legs hip width apart mm -hmm. and you can just put that around your knees yep. and then you're going to uh, crab walking. Yep. Um, so now you're trying to get me to explain exercises. <laughs> it's really <laughs> hard. But if you look up lateral crab walk with exercise band, yep. but basically you then have your knees bent softly. You're not down in a squat position. Your chest is nice and open. You're, so your torso is facing upwards and you're going to walk sideways like a crab and you're yep. going resistance against the band, right? So, and make sure that your knees are staying out and not collapsing in and that's going to work your glutes and you should be using your glutes when you're running because they're the biggest muscle in your body right yeah, yeah. so and that's that's a good one and you can do like 10 15 in either direction perfect you can do monster walks which is where you walk forwards in the same position with your band and then you can walk backwards um so i would probably do some crab walks with the band mm -hmm. um i then might do some uh, single leg squats yep. um which definitely if you've never done before i would start with body weight and then if you want you can add you know bags of rice or uh, kettlebells or dumbbells like on your shoulders or, or down by your side yeah. um the reason like double leg squats are good mm -hmm. um but as a runner you're really the running motion is you're going from one leg to another so that's the definition of running rather than walking is your one foot on the ground at yeah. the time right yeah, yeah. So now if you do a double leg squat, it is great, but you can kind of compensate. Maybe your left side's a bit weaker. And so you're sort of without realizing you using your right leg more. So single leg exercises. So yeah, you could just do 
three sets of 10 single leg squats. It's also good for balance. It'll yeah. work your stabilizer muscles in your ankles a little bit, right? And again, making sure that your knees tracking forward and not collapsing out is too much. Yeah. So I would do that. Um, and then I might do something simple like uh, step ups or box jumps, right? And again, all of these, if you're doing them every day, like three sets of 10, that kind of stuff, right, um, is good. So. Okay. I think are really helpful. So yeah. it's, um, it's called dead bug. And it's kind of like you lay, if you follow me on Instagram or anything, you've probably seen it, but yeah. uh, you can look it up too. It's basically like you lay on your back with your legs up and you kind of look like a dead bug. And then you, you move your, yeah, yeah. I've your seen arms you do and legs. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and then there's bridges, which is, again, you're on your back and you just bridge up. Instead of using your legs, though, you use your butt and your core. Right. Um, and then there's bird dogs, which is you're kind of on hands and knees, um, like you're doing like a like you're just on your hands and knees. And then you, you move your arms simultaneously. And I think all those work your core, but also like your hip flexors and stability. And they're just really straightforward and they don't take super long and i think that you get a big bang for your buck yeah, okay um, and are those sort for, of thing do you do those every day i do try to do those every day yeah uh and then uh just for like straight up uh strength like if you just do two exercises that i think have the biggest impact are pull-ups and push-ups and like those are just awesome exercises and you don't need anything really um, yeah the pull-up bar is something like you can do it on you know, stairs or your banister. If you can get a pull-up bar, that's the best. But yeah. um, there's a lot of different ways you can do that. And then push-ups are pretty self-explanatory yeah. or press-ups. Yeah. It depends what part of the world you're in. Okay, well, this is one, it's not just for everyone, but this is something that we've actually done with a couple of clients this season. Yeah. Um, and this is probably targeted more at ultra runners or people who are going to be doing hilly stuff. Yeah. Walking lunges are your friends. And you could do this at home. You don't even need to go to a gym. So we had a client who did five day multi-day um on the on the um cornish coastline yep and um he lived very flat somewhere very flat and we got him doing walking lunch we built up to them and he ended up doing i don't know hundreds of them around his garden in a car park whatever and you can do that holding anything you've got a child some whatever some bags of sand or nothing but walking lunges are amazing for stuff like that um, the other thing that you could do as well, I'm trying to give you something that potentially you could do at home. Yes. Pistol squats are great as well. I do pistol squats. So you can do that off a, a step. Mm -hmm. um, so a pistol squat is imagine doing, imagine you're doing a squat but on one leg. Yep. Okay, they're great as well for um, targeting your butt as well. Um, and then things like um, side planks are great for your core as well, side planks. Um, yeah. And, um, and then there's so many other things you do at the gym, but you can always, when you go to the gym, remember, I get people messaging me saying, oh, what should I do in the gym today or something? And that's such a massive question unless you've got an actual target, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but always remember to um, uh, work opposing muscles. So remember when you're in the gym, that you're doing pushing exercises and you need to do pulling exercises as well. Okay. Don't just do all push and don't do all um, uh, pull. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I would just say if that, those are things that you could do at home, mm -hmm. um, and if you're if you're someone who's going to be doing any mountain stuff, go and do walking lunges in your garden if you've got space, or up and down your house, yeah. they really work a treat. 